When I was about eight years old, I started altar serving. And that's really when I first thought of the priesthood and was first inclined toward it. I had the opportunity to get to go to daily mass and I had that example of the priesthood and I just love that example. So when I was about 15 or something or 16, as most guys do, they, they typically put it on the back burner because um, they are high schoolers and they think girls are pretty and, <laughs> and they immediately think that the priesthood's not for them. But I kind of put it on the back burner because I thought girls were pretty as well. <laughs> um, until about when I was 16, 17 years old, I went to Quo Body Stays for the first time and I thought I had a wonderful experience there. Um, got to spend time with cool priest and <laughs> other seminarians who were younger and around my age and things. And it, it helped push it back into the front burner. My past experiences, guys typically go on retreats for more to spend time with girls than to spend time with guys. But with Quo Body Stays, the guys go to spend time with the other guys. And from that, you get to meet great young men around your ages who are actually taking their faith seriously, trying to live out a life of virtue. So I, I had a wonderful time. I was just able to spend time with their other young gentlemen, so I was able to think about it more. And I found it quite intriguing, um, praying and, and going to daily mass and serving. And from there, I really, really seriously started thinking about it. So that leads up to a question that I was asked by one of my friends uh, when I was about 16, 16 and a half years old. Um, the question was, why do you want to become a priest? Everyone hears this question to some extent or another from other people. I had been thinking about the priesthood since I was eight, so I wasn't new to thinking about it. But the difference was that my family, being a very reverent and great family, they always kind of put it as an option for me. Um, and for lack of better words, almost made it seem like you should do this instead of like you can do this. Even though I was attracted to it, you never want to feel forced in a vocation. So when my friend asked me, why do you want to become a priest? It made me really reflect on why I would want to become a priest. Uh, why, instead of others wanting me to be my priest, why did I want to become a priest? Well, one, uh, for a practical view, I love being close to the altar. I love serving. I love being a strong minister of Holy Communion. And I just love the Mass. Uh, and I wanted to be as close to our Lord as possible. And then from like the spiritual aspect, I love our Blessed Mother. And I wanted to grow into a deeper love with her and with the Church. So why I wanted to become a priest was to spend more time with God to be closer to God and to come to love God more. So as a senior year in high school, I was 17, almost 18 years old, and I was really thinking about the priesthood quite seriously. I think all, all young men who are going towards the seminary are worried to some extent or another because they're not really sure yet that that's why they're discerning. For myself personally, it was, is God calling me to the priesthood? Should I enter seminary now? Should I push it off? I'm not sure. I, I don't know what to do. Am I holy enough? Am I smart enough? Um, so my family took a road trip up to the mountains up where Father Gober lives. And we went to daily mass there. I served for him, I believe. And then afterwards, I, I had about a 20 minute conversation, um, just letting him know that I was really seriously discerning it and I wanted to enter the, the seminary. I thought about taking two years of just community college before entering seminary, possibly. But when the priest told me that if God, if you think God is calling you to do something, go for it. <laughs> Take it by the hand and go. From there, I went forward in the application process and received it in December. Looked at it, looked at it again, super worried. It was 35 pages long with like three papers and psychological evaluation, all these things. I was scary. It was scary. So I got in December and didn't look at it till January. <laughs> and then I, I started, then I started working on it and worked on it till like March. Um, but it, it was good. It was a long but good process.